right, here we go. going on everybody hey uh, I'm determined <laughs> to get through this video this is my <laughs> third shot on this damn thing uh, my program I tried to do a screenshot or screen share of chirp <laughs> and as I went through this tutorial thing to show you guys I started playing it back and it's all fuzzy and glitchy looking. I'm like, seriously? So I tried using OBS and then I went back and tried to access a different screen share to, uh, to, you know, try it again. So we're going to try this. So anyhow, today I'm going to talk about the scanning capabilities and how of the Wotion UV9 KG UV9D Mate the scanning capabilities and then how to actually make scanning groups and use AM uh, get AM going on this thing because it is AM it does have AM airband capability <clears throat> not AM radio but a AM airband so um, I'm going to try this again so let's transition over to chirp and see what we can do here so I've already downloaded the uh, image from the radio you just go to radio download from radio and then when you're all done you upload to radio and so this is what I got in the uh, in the radio right now <clears throat> there's uh, what is there uh, 140 channels so um, to use the banks groups is what they the radio calls it groups um, channel scanner groups is what it calls or what they call it so go to settings and then click down here on channel scanner groups and this is where I that took me some time to figure all this out I finally figured out this is where you can do it I don't think you can do all this stuff from the front if you did if you could you'd be here it would take you forever to do I mean it t it's taken me a couple hours just to get the thing loaded up like him I got it here so real quick let's just try and go through what I got here and how I organized it so I wanted to use the scanner portion um, of this radio and I wanted to use the AM so what I did is I divided up my frequencies all my memories over here into groups so my first group I uploaded um, these are just a bunch of miscellaneous localized repeaters and frequencies that I wanted in a scan group. So I uploaded them from repeater book or memory or whatever um, that I had. So I uploaded those and then I added them into what I'm calling uh, local wide. It's called it's group one name and I call it local wide meaning um, my city and surrounding counties and there you can set the channels of that scan group and my in my case it's 1 through 64 um, and you can see the memories over here 1 through 64 that's a, this is how I did it it seems to be organized yes there are re, uh, repeats in here but um, you could probably spend a little bit more time in figuring out um, a better way to do this or at least to organize it how you want so group two is more local I just call it local and that is channel 65 through 83 <clears throat> and then group three is called airband and that's 84 through 97 and um, group four is EMS fire yes it will receive EMS fire it'll receive airband it will receive so group five uh, FRS and uh, GMRS <clears throat> and it will receive those 
and they're in their own scan group, but this will not re, uh, transmit on those frequencies or the EMS fire or airband, which is good. That's what you want. Or at least you want to um, be mindful of that if you do have those capabilities and only do it in appropriate time. So anyhow, so let's go back to settings here. So channel groups or sorry, memories. So you can see over here, and I'll scroll down where to my AM portion is. So 80, my AM frequencies are channels 84 through uh, 92. And it does let you in chirp here, come over here where you can see the mode. Um, you can highlight it, FM, uh, narrow FM or AM and just choose AM on those particular ones that are RAM. Uh, that's my local airport. There's a bunch of approach frequencies, a bunch of different things. Um, and then I have uh, all these other ones down here are just local, um, like ambulance, fire, that kind of thing. But that's how I organize them. And like I said, I don't think there is a way to do that from the front of the radio. And if it, <laughs> if you could, you'd be there forever. It would drive you nuts. So by the way, I'm just going to pull this apart. This is the mate here, what are we talking about? And I'm going to pull this out. Um, the red cord, the red uh, programming cable is what you need for for the mate. Uh, I couldn't tell you on the other ones, but I'm guessing it would work on the UV90 Plus and a bunch of those others because they're really similar. It, the you know the whole um, aspect of them is so. Anyhow, I'm going to show you. So I'm going to pause this real quick and get back to another portion. I'm going to show you how to actually scan the groups in here it's not what you think it, it, it just took me forever so I'll, I'll be right back okay so what we got here is I got the KG UV9D mate and um, I'm gonna try and show you guys how to access those um, scanner groups and what you do is after you've uploaded to the radio from Chirp, make sure you do get that all done properly. And then you can see I've got this thing just set on, it's just random frequencies here. But what you do is um, go to menu and you want to find menu 49. I believe it's 49. And just press and hold until you find it. So that's why it takes so dang long. This is not a scanner. It will scan and it's slow scanning, but it's not a scanner like you would think as a regular, uh, regular scanner. But I mean, it is what it is. It's, it works for what it is, but for FM and, and repeater use, this radio kicks butt. So anyhow, so let's try it again. I, sorry. So push menu and find 49 and then you see it says, scan group there that's what that stands for and then so you're gonna go menu and that brings you into where the groups are remember in chirp i had um local wide local airband ems fire and gmrs so choose which um, one you want to scan or it loves you scan all of them uh, which is kind of cool too, but let's just do uh, air. Well, let's do uh, let's do this one, EMS fire, and then just click menu again, and then exit. So now it is ready to scan that band. So in order to scan, it's just this little asterisk here. Press and hold, and it's scanning, and you can see it's going through. Um, 99 through, what is it, 118, something like that. 
So it's scanning that fire EMS band or group. Got to remember the, the terminology because it, it's confusing. <clears throat> so if you want to stop scanning, just press stop, press scan again, and then you want to go back in. It'll save where the menu is so you can scan another group. And once you figure this out, it's not too bad. So we're going to press menu and then exit and then scan. Now you can see we're scanning the, there's some AM and some FM in this band, but you can see where um, it actually uh, shows AM there. So that's pretty cool. So also um, you can transmit on say a simplex frequency or something like that on AM too, but um, I, I haven't done that yet. I don't have a ra another radio besides like an SDR or something to, to use it with. So there it is. Um, the Ocean, how to scan the bands. And like I said, it's not a scanner, but you can put those frequencies in, um, make sure you got the AM right. Otherwise, if you do have those frequencies in and that comes over FM as FM, you're not going to hear it properly. It's going to be all distorted. <clears throat> so put in AM where you need to. Um, you can go in here and push AM. Um, let me see real quick so I can tell you. Uh, that is menu 54. If you want to do AM individually, go to AM or go to menu 54, choose um, menu and then it says off or on. So if you turn it on, whatever channel you're on, you well, as you're programming that, will be FM or excuse me AM. So be careful what you, what you uh, use AM on there, but you don't want to get confused. But in chirp, it's a lot more organized. Um, but like I said, how I did it and how I figured it out was, if you want to use the scan groups. Um, it won't let you just, what would be cool is if you could highlight which frequencies you want in scan one, scan group one or scan group two or something like that, but it doesn't let you do that. So it just gives you a channel range. So if you have say frequencies you don't want to scan in your entire, um, portion there, you can't just single out the ones that you want. You have to, so you got to kind of organize it. All the frequencies you want in band one and group one, upload those first, up, upload group two for second and so on and organize your frequencies how you want that way. So um, it's a little convoluted and very time consuming. It's definitely not like a little, <laughs> uh, unit in or radio shack scanner and um that you can just program in banks that'd be pretty cool so i think there's some improvement but they do sell it it is a selling point it's not really a gimmick but um it doesn't let me just put it this way it doesn't excel at that right it what it does excel at is repeater use it's got really good transmit power 10 watts Really good audio, especially I pair it with uh, an any tone uh, microphone that came with my or that I bought with my any tone eight seven eight. Sounds really good with that. The speaker sounds really good. Um, I think I can't remember if I have an audio test on this or not, but I'll do one of those. The speaker sounds really good, but if you don't want the air band, where's my? If you don't want the air band. I'm going to suggest a Yesu FT65 for you, if you don't care about that. And I'll talk about this later, but this thing is awesome. And it's actually, the audio sounds a little bit better. It sounds a, a tad better than the Alenco too. I did an audio uh, comparison on this thing. So um, for FM repeater use, um, Plus, this thing is really cool because you can wideband it. 
used appropriately. Don't trans transmit on illegally, but you can wideband this thing. Um, plus it has FM, has NOAA weather, um, FM broadcast has no weather. I'll do a review on this thing too. I love this radio. I just got it. And uh, I think, so here's the kicker, 160 bucks, $90. Man, you can't go wrong with that thing for 90 bucks. This is, should be a go-to for a lot of people. This thing absolutely rocks for 90 bucks. This thing kills it too. This has a longer uh, battery life you know, um, than the Yesu, but, um, super good reception. Um, it did, it does overload the front end. If you put a, a, uh, like I have a 89 X slim Jim antenna for like a go bag or, or whatever. Um, it does sometimes overload the front end. Um, but overall this thing is really good. It's got a lot of good features on it. It does have FM, but I'll do a separate video on FM because it's very complicated, like I said. So anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you like. Um, slowly trying to build the channel, make videos when I can. But uh, this really, if I would have found a video on this, it would have saved me a long time dinking around with this stupid thing. You can, I don't think you can scan, uh, set the scan groups from the from the front. I could be wrong, but I couldn't figure it out. The manual wasn't a lot of help. And it's not very intuitive compared to like that Yesu or uh, my Linko or, or whatever. So, uh, but for 160 bucks, if you don't need those extra things, buy buy that Yesu FT, FT65. Uh, you could probably almost get, well, not quite two of them, but you can get the FT65 plus the mic, maybe an extra battery for that price. So anyhow, 7-3, we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.